blinking. We all do it. It's a human reaction that we don't even think about. But did you know that we blink over 15,000 times a day? That's nearly as many cup of teas I have daily. Now, in most jobs, you don't need to consider the amount of times that you flick your eyelids. But when you're appearing on screen, you bet you nearly you do. That's a British expression. If you're looking to start a career as a screen actor, then blinking is something you need to seriously consider as part of your training. Some directors, such as Edgar Wright, can actually go as far as to ban blinking on screen. And if there's additional blinking evidence in the post-production process, then you will actually remove the blinking digitally. But are we allowed to blink? Yeah, uh, I realize now that you can edit those things out digitally. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. No moist digital corneas for you. The reason that Blinkin is in my focus right now is because of the success of Netflix Wednesday show, which stars Jenna Ortega, who masterfully navigates her way through the whole season without dropping a single blink. Clearly, this is a character decision for the strange macabre Adam's teenager, but the restraint and control used by the actress is admirable. She achieved this by waiting for the other actors to say their lines, and she would use those opportunities to blink, giving her the chance to reset, knowing the edit would, in theory, cut away from her. Here is a scene from the 2005 movie Pride and Prejudice. Just watch the control the actors have and how blinking is used to tell each of their stories. Glad we are to see you, Mr. Bingley. There's been a great many changes since you went away. Miss Lucas is married and settled. And one of my own daughters, too. You will have seen it in the papers, though it was not put in as it ought to have been. Very short. Nothing about her family. Yes, yes, I did hear of it. I, I offer my congratulations. But it is very hard to have my Lydia taken away from me. Mr. Wickham has been transferred to Newcastle, wherever that is. Do you hope to stay long in the country, Mr. Bingley? Just a few weeks for the shooting. Oh, when you've killed all your own birds, Mr. Bingley, I beg you will come here and shoot as many as you please. Thank you. Mr. Bennett will be vastly happy to oblige you and will save all the best of the coffees for you. Excellent. Are you well, Mr. Darcy? Quite well, thank you. I hope that the weather stays fine for your sport. I return to town tomorrow. So soon. My Jane looks well. Creating a tool belt as an on-screen actor is incredibly important, and there is no more important weapon to use during filming than your eyes. In the future, when you're working on your scenes, make sure to be mindful of those blinks. This is Craig from Craft Creative. Until the next time.